Hey you guys, welcome to Living It Country. If you guys are new to our channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by on our channel. We do lots of farmhouse decor hauls, building updates on our country home and products for the home and family. And today we are doing a vlog style of our master bathroom. And I have not done a vlog um, of the building process of our home in a long time. It's been at least a half a year. So today I'm excited to be sharing with you guys with Mr. Brody. Um, what our master bathroom is looking like. I'm loving how it looks. There is a lot left to do, but we're gonna go ahead and show you guys what's going on here. Okay, you guys, so as soon as you go through our master bedroom, this is the door that you go through to our master bath. There is my swimsuit. We have been enjoying some nice summer days out at the pool. Um, we've been loving that, so my swimsuit is drying, but I absolutely love the doors that we picked for the interior of our home. We have not painted these yet. That is still on the to-do list for all of our doors as well as the trim around the doors and everywhere inside the house. So this is what it's looking like so far, you guys. And I'm so happy um, with how everything's turning. There's Mr. Brody. He's so cute, he's so sweet. He's helping me today. But um, if you guys have followed my journey, you would know that the biggest thing about our house was the vanity. Like we had no problems building our home. Um, we were the general contractors, or as I would like to say, my husband was. Um, but we got this beautiful farmhouse style vanity, you guys, from Walmart. I kid you not. And this was actually sold out completely for like the longest time, so we bought a different one for this bathroom, and you guys, I was not happy with it. I have a whole video on that um, where you guys helped me decide whether we were going to return it or not. We returned it, we saved a ton of money. And we got this, and I'm so happy. The kids' one matches perfectly, but it's smaller and it's grayish blue. I absolutely love it, and you guys know how obsessed I am with crates, and I love it because underneath it, you can put crates, and I love it. Great storage, perfect for putting you know, my blow dryers and uh, my curling irons and just little things down there that we wanna just easily grab. I'm so happy with that. If you guys are looking at the middle crate that is my general store one that I got from Michaels, and it was in my I Return Farmhouse Decor video. Um, it was a video I did on Farmhouse Decor I was gonna return and I did return everything besides this one because um, they would not let me return this one. I did not have a receipt and the tag was gone. So um, I don't know what happened, um, but anywho, they didn't return that and so I tried to find a use out of it. So I'm gonna you know, add some cool things to that and I think that it flows pretty okay. So. Yeah, and these little crates to the side with the trucks on them are going to be going into Brody's room, so I will have to have an excuse to buy more crates. Mr. Brody's cooing over there. I am eventually gonna update these knobs. As you guys know, I am a big fan of a Etsy business called Knob Treasures, and he sells adorable um, like farmhouse and country knobs. So you guys will see what I pick out for that. But you know, that's just a simple thing that I can hold off on right now as you know, the rest of our home is coming out of our own pocket. Um, you know, it's like not on a loan or anything. So like trimming things like that, um, you know, we have to save up for monthly. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the faucets. Now you guys, these were my birthday presents from my mom. And I know that's so silly, but I ask for those kind of stuff, that kind of stuff for my birthday. And I love it. Look at this, you guys. Super cute. This is called, I believe it's the Farmhouse Styled Faucet. I got it off of Amazon. It was under 50 bucks. So I ordered it and then my mom <laughs> gave me the money and then we wrapped it up for my birthday. So we got a total of three of these and I'm so happy with it. My husband has always since we've been married at least, I don't know how he was as a kid, but he always puts his head underneath the faucet to drink out of it. So I thought these would be perfect. And um, let's see what else we have going on. I have just this simple lotion and hand wash here. And of course my Dollar Tree flowers and garden tin that has, you know, my face stuff at night. So I'm gonna back it up and the, hello, hi. <laughs> these mirrors um, came from Hay Needle. They were on sale for $75 each and if I'm gonna back it up, you guys, and they are way too small for this area, as you can see. We still haven't hung them up on the wall yet because we just got these in, so that's on the to-do list. But the measurements that they had in their um, like product area were not correct. They ended up giving me 25% off, and these are just gonna be temporary. 
Mirrors are so expensive. I might do a DIY project. I might save up for it. We'll see. Um, you know, there's no rush, obviously. But these are going to be our temporary mirrors, and I love them because they're the same exact material as our vanity, and they just look how well they flow together. So adorable. I love it. And you guys, the most excited part I am to show you guys are these Mason jar lights. These are off of Amazon, you guys. I will link it down below. They are real mason jars. So, so cute, so cool. I love adding elements of just, like, you know the vanity is farmhouse style, the crates are farmhouse style, the lights farmhouse style, but I love adding simple elements like that that are inexpensive. They're actually, all this stuff was cheaper than getting, you know, the things from Home Depot. So I got things that are really adorable for cheaper. But I love adding those kind of elements that are really simple and they just give a farmhouse country flow without even having, like you guys, I don't even have decor in here yet and it already looks farmhouse style, woohoo! So that is like what I'm going for. It's just the simple farmhouse country look, you guys. I have no decor besides the crates and it's very practical. So that's what I'm loving so far. That's why you guys have not seen like a bunch of farmhouse decor in my home yet. Um, as well as I haven't shown you guys because you know like look at this like I don't want to give a home tour yet with this so it's been but it's been a fun process so I will do a tour like there's my closet it's a huge closet you guys see my my barn door mirror isn't that so cool got that from Hobby Lobby but I haven't shown you guys everything yet because it's a disaster because we're still rent like it's kind of like renovating the building so I'm gonna just show you guys a glimpse of our whole bathroom but here is our little sliding door area where we have to put our door in with our bathroom toilet and all we have in there is toilet and a toilet um what's it called toilet paper that's on the floor and then over here you know we have our we added a lot of windows to this space but we have our big huge bathtub so you know the kids can take a big bubble bath in here and then we have our I have my primitive shower curtain, which I love. I got this for my birthday like six years ago. And then I just have my uh, Target, you know, little out of the bath kind of rug. This is not stained. This is actually for the kids' bathroom, but we've all been taking showers in here lately. I do have, um, we have no, um, what's it called? Curtains up yet, you guys. So we've been using <laughs> a towel. So right now I just have some normal light coming in. So to film the video, but we have a towel up there because, you know, we have to get, if you guys can see, like this normally, in a lot of people's houses, they get this sheet rocked, this area, but we decided we were gonna do, um, what is it called? I'm losing my train of thought, guys, but it's, you know, trimming the inside of the window, that's what it's called. So it's gonna give it a really beautiful, just really, really pretty look to it. And you guys, this is a huge linen closet, and we have like all our tools down below and stuff like that. Um, so you guys, that's what a glimpse of our master bathroom is looking like, and I thought you guys would just love seeing it. Oh my goodness, you guys, how could I forget? My beautiful, life-proof flooring from Home Depot, you guys. This is throughout our whole home, besides the carpeted areas, and I love it, you guys. Love it. Easy to install, beautiful. Had to add that. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching our uh, little video of our update of our master bathroom. There's Mr. Brody right there. Can you guys see him? He's kind of in the closet area, just chilling like a villain. So he's not a villain though. He's a sweetie. I just like, I just like rhyming things. But um, if you guys have any suggestions or ideas for our home bathroom, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure if you enjoyed this video to hit that like button and subscribe uh, for future videos. I'll see you guys later. Bye.